and they'll put pressure on you. Now you have doctors that will not see your children if they're not vaccinated to let you know that your child is in a database. It's all eugenics, population control, the destruction of humans. So what is going to happen here? We're going to show you. So once this happens, somebody passed me a sign, that black sign out of there, with the GPS system on it. I need this. Once that happens, I need someone to come over and hold this for me. Thank you. It says right here, Nine one one. The attacks on nine one one was a plan to begin the world, begin the war on the world. Through fear of terrorism, the Patriot Act was passed. All people on Earth are faced with a choice: comply with the new Luciferian world order or cease to exist. Woo! Wars and rumors of wars. Turn it around for me, please. Will you be tracked? Because of this Patriot Act, they're now rolling out an RFID to track all the people. There's no coincidence that a great technology that used to be an expensive technology, you can get it free now, which is a cell phone. They're making it so that everyone get a cell phone to, to actually test the GPS nominal constellation system. With your cell phone, they can track exactly where you are in the earth at all times. So now they made it so if you're on welfare and you can't afford a phone, that they'll give you a voucher to go and they'll send you a free phone. They're tracking, they're tracking the people and testing the system that will soon be implemented under Lucifer, under Satan, to track mankind. And they're doing this through fear. They have given mankind an, ins an insatiable appetite when it comes to gluttony, when it comes to spending, and when it comes to the idea of the American dream. And by doing this, you will not be able to sustain your American dream if you don't get the spending system that's set up right now. The RFID, will this be you? Look at this man getting a chip implanted in him. That's what's coming. Once the banks collapse, they will, let, they will tell you, the government will let you know, in order for you to spend or buy in our system, we must track you. And if you're not a terrorist, there's nothing to hide. This was written in the Bible. And who will be the biggest proponents and advocate of this chip? Not only your government, your preachers, and your pastors. Without this chip, they cannot receive their tithes. And right now you have Leroy Thompson, Creflo Dollar, and the other pulpit preachers or pimps with ATM machines in their church right now. Soon? Soon? There will be no ATM machines. They will scan your hand. Now I'm going to show this first, and then we're going to show you that this was written up in the Bible. Put that one down.
and get me the, the picture with George Bush on it. Now, of course, there's no way the Lord would have his servants, hold it over here for me, break this down without showing a refuge or a way out. Okay? They tested this in Malaysia. Okay? Here is the chip right here the size of a grain of rice. This is the tools that are in every doctor office right now preparing to shoot the chip in every man, woman, and child that complies to the mark of the beast. They tested this system in your dogs and your cats. They've tested the system already. You have an option with your pets when you go to the SPCA to have your dog or cat trapped. Also, there was a campaign on CNN and all these different uh, uh, media outlets for Amber Alerts to have you fear your child being stolen. Now, in certain hospitals, it's giving you the option to have a tracking device placed in your children so that they don't get stolen after birth. If you don't believe, you will believe. Because these things were written of in the Bible well before they had the technology to make a chip. Put that down and let's go into the Bible now. And I need you to I need you to grab a Bible and get where it says a grievous sore fell on them that had the mark. What's going to happen? Let's see. And you might wonder, well, how can this happen to an American citizen? We have rights. The Constitution will not allow the government to do such an act against civilians. And besides that, we have a black president. Right? Brothers and sisters, once the Patriot Act was drafted, the Constitution is not worth the paper it's written on anymore. Okay? You had brothers and sisters who were supposed to have been protected under the Constitution during the time of Katrina. Did the Constitution help them? <laughs> and if you are labeled a terrorist, if you're labeled a terrorist, you have no rights under the Constitution. Guantanamo Bay taught us that. They tested in Guantanamo Bay. That was just a test based on what's coming to America. Once they label you a domestic terrorist for not receiving the mark of the beast. Now, like I said, we're not going to show this without also showing what the Most High say do based on this. We thank the Most High. Last week, we were able to get some brothers out of the country already that's preparing a way for brothers and sisters. They just left the 22nd. They're gone. Gone. Two brothers that used to be with us are over there already. We'll be there eventually, yes. But we have two brothers out already. All right? The reason we're staying here, we're prophesying, and then soon we'll be out of here too. One day the brothers and sisters are going to look up, we'll be someplace else. Alright? This place is done. We have to be out before they set up the traveling, the traveling systems that they have set up these roads from the west coast to the east coast, before they set these, these coastal, uh, what you would call, um, 
points. They got traveling points on your roads, checkpoints. They're going to set these checkpoints up from coast to coast. And that's the reason for your buildings on your roads right now on all your main highways. They're preparing to stop you from traveling from city to city. And we must leave before the borders are shut.